my intention for my answer for now is you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Stir up to the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, in your vision, O king, you saw a statue, very large and exceedingly bright, terrifying in appearance as it stood before you. The head of the statue was pure gold. Its chest and arms were silver, its bellies and thighs bronze, the legs iron, its feet partly iron and partly tile. While you looked at the statue, a stone which was hewn from a mountain, without a hand being put in it, stuck its, its iron and tile feet, breaking them in pieces. The iron, tile, bronze, silver, and gold all crumbled at once, fines as the chaff on the threshing floor in summer, and the wind blew them away without leaving a trace. But the stone that stuck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the dream, the interpretation we shall also give in the king's presence. You, O king, are the king of kings. To you, the God of heaven has given dominion and strength, power, and glory. Men, wild beasts, and birds of the air, wherever they may dwell, he has handed over to you, making you ruler over them all. You are the head of gold. Another kingdom shall take place inferior to yours. Then a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. There shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron. It shall break in pieces and subdue all these others, just as iron breaks its pieces and crushes everything else. The feet and the toes you saw, partially of potter's tile and partially of iron. Misa shall be a divided kingdom but yet they have some of the hardness of iron. As you saw the iron mixed with clay tile and the toes partially iron and partially tile, the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. The iron mixed with clay tile means that they shall seal their alliance by intermarriage, but they shall not stay united any more than iron mixes with clay. In the lifetime of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed or delivered up to another people. Rather, it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and put an end to them and it shall stand forever. Th that is the meaning of the stone you saw hewn from the mountain without a hand being put to it, which broke in pieces the, uh, the tile, the iron, the bronze, the silver, and gold. The great God has revealed to the king what shall be in the future. This is exactly what you dreamed, and its meaning is sure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal, eternal praise, praise to him. Angel of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. 
give glory and praise to him. Your heavens bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal Amen. praise to him. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give, Give glory, glory and eternal praise, praise to, him. to him. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give, Give glory, glory and, and eternal, eternal praise, praise to him. Your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips as you may proclaim his gospel well being and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you a crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Well, some of the people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings. Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will be none not be left, a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown away. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famine, plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, these are the last days of the ordinary time that will finish on Sunday. Sunday, or rather, Saturday afternoon will begin Advent. So the readings will be on that way, uh, telling us about the end of time. And what Jesus was prophesying here about the temple happened in the year 70. And is basically wanting us to be ready for that moment of the end of time because we don't know when it, uh, that time will come. So everything we know and we see that is beauty and perfect, Jesus says, all of these things are perishable. And there will be a time when these things will come to an end. And even the life itself. So we are alive now, and there will be a time when one, we, we, we will not be alive. So there will be a time when we will die, and we have to know that reality. I always, I don't, you know, I'm not afraid about talking about death, because I know this is a reality. And even though, you know, we don't want to go and, and, and experience that moment, but there will be a moment when we have to face that reality. What Jesus wants us is not to be terrified, as he said to the Jews, to not be terrified by any things that will happen in the world, even war, earthquake, tsunamis, um, um, people fighting each other and being so mad, you know, with other people. Don't be terrified about this. Jesus says, instead of this, be ready for that moment. Pray more, um, be good to people, give arms, help whatever people you encounter with in your life, and at the end, he will give you what you deserve. If you are living a bad life and you are doing evil things, so do not expect that Jesus will be good with, to you. You have to be good now that you can, and at that moment, you, you won't be hard to be um, aware of, um, to be afraid of that, 
to be afraid if whether or not you are going to hell or to heaven, because that will depend in the way that you are living now, in the way that you are behaving. So just listen carefully to these words of Jesus, put attention on them, and then try to put them into practice. My brothers and sisters, let us bring our needs and the needs of the world before our Heavenly Father. That the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That warning nations in every corner of the earth may be led by the Holy Spirit to seek peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That victims of natural disaster may find comfort in God's providential care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This community of faith may be guided by the Holy Spirit in our every word and action. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be a shepherd by our compassionate God in the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our individual intentions and petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of heaven and earth, hear and answer these prayers offered to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the praise of the Lord. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which, at your biding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a lost worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, nail, yell, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that it should enter on the mile. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sickness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, the nice in mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven Parish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission. 
Above all other things, in our encounter with each person, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.